Did you know there are plants that can heal you? No, we're not talking about the kind you find in a witch's brew. We're referring to medicinal plants, nature's very own apothecary. These green wonders have been the backbone of traditional medicine for centuries, providing remedies for everything from a simple cold to more complex ailments. And with the resurgence of natural remedies, these plants are once again stepping into the limelight. So why not turn your garden into a mini pharmacy? Just don't start charging your neighbors for prescriptions, okay? First up, we have the comfrey plant, also known as knit bone. No, it doesn't knit sweaters, but it might just mend your bones. The comfrey plant is a little like your overly helpful neighbor, always ready to lend a hand or in this case, a leaf. It's been used for centuries in folk medicine, particularly for its impressive ability to speed up the healing process of bone fractures and sprains. Imagine that, a plant that moonlights as an orthopedic surgeon. But before you start chomping down on comfrey salads, let's drop a cautionary note. Consuming comfrey internally can pose certain health risks, so it's best used as a topical treatment. Think of it as a green band-aid, not a green smoothie. In essence, comfrey is like that one friend who's always there to pick you up when you fall, literally. And let's be real, who hasn't taken a tumble in the garden? So, if you're prone to tripping over your garden gnome, comfrey might be your new best friend. Next, we have the plantain. Nope, not the banana-like fruit, but the weed you've probably been pulling out of your garden. It's an unassuming little fella, often mistaken for an unwelcome intruder. But here's the twist. This so-called weed is actually a medicinal powerhouse. The humble plantain is packed with healing properties. Got a pesky insect bite? Plantain to the rescue. It's known for its ability to soothe and heal those itchy nuisances. And it doesn't stop there. Burns? Wounds? Plantain has got your back. Its leaves when crushed and applied can provide a cooling effect and promote healing. It's a classic case of not judging a book by its cover, or in this case, a plant by its weed-like appearance. So, the next time you spot a plantain in your garden, maybe give it a second glance before reaching for your weed puller. Who knew that the annoying weed you've been cursing could be a hidden treasure? Maybe it's time for an apology. Moving on to aloe vera, a plant that's as prickly as a porcupine but as soothing as a spa retreat. This spiky green wonder is renowned for its healing properties, especially when it comes to skin health. You see, aloe vera is a bit like your garden's resident dermatologist. It's rich in antioxidants and vitamins that help protect your skin, while its anti-inflammatory properties make it a go-to remedy for burns and skin irritations. A sunburn? Aloe vera's got you covered? A kitchen mishap? Aloe vera to the rescue? This plant is so good at its job it's been recruited by the beauty industry, making regular appearances in everything from face creams to shampoos. But remember, nothing beats the real deal. So if you have an aloe vera plant lounging in your garden, you essentially have a natural on-call skin doctor. So next time you burn yourself cooking, don't rush to the freezer for ice. Rush to your garden for aloe vera. Finally, we have chamomile, the sweet little daisy that's known for more than just a calming tea. This unassuming plant, with its tiny white flowers and apple-like aroma, is a powerhouse of healing properties. It's like the Swiss Army knife in your garden's first aid kit. Chamomile is celebrated for its soothing abilities, particularly when it comes to easing digestion. Upset stomach? Chamomile to the rescue. And let's not forget how it's been used for centuries as a tool to promote sleep. Yes, indeed, chamomile is like a lullaby in plant form, but the versatility of this herb doesn't stop there. You can use it in a myriad of ways, steep it in hot water for a tea, infuse it in oil or even use it in a bath. It's like the plant version of a utility player ready to step in wherever it's needed. So, if counting sheep isn't working, maybe a cup of chamomile tea from your garden will. So there you have it folks, five plants that can turn your garden into a natural first aid kit. The mighty comfrey, perfect for sprains and bruises. The unassuming plantain, a real champ against insect bites. The spiky aloe vera, a wonder for skin ailments, and the sweet chamomile, an unbeatable stress buster. Remember, while these plants have healing properties, they're not substitutes for professional medical advice. So consult your doctor, but feel free to brag about your healing garden.